Is that live? I think that is live. Give me at least a second. I'll open the <laughs> Telstar broadcasting to the universe. Is it working? If anybody's there, see. Hello, is anybody there? Hello, hello, hello! I've no idea, I've never done this before. Oh, all oh, right, apparently it, is, it's, it seems to be working, so um, we'll just say hello to everybody who pops up. I might be speaking to myself, which it wouldn't be the first time. Feel free to comment. <laughs> so, um, just fire in some comments if you like. I'm, I'm just going to start playing. Um, it's not quite 8 o'clock, but I can see a few folks saying hello. Um, I, well, I, I can see names popping up. I can't read them for here. But um, I'm just going to play. We're going to start in a couple of minutes. But welcome. Um, I should have been at the Neil Gow Festival in Dunkeld. And to be quite honest, I would rather have been there because <laughs> it's a fantastic weekend. But the situation being it, as it is, it's, um, it's near a bad compromise sit, having a few tunes in the house. And um, um, 10, 20 years ago, could never have done this for folk can pop in. Only one in the world that they've got Wi-Fi can look in and, and um, see what's going on. So, um, I welcome. We're going to play for half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, wee bit of a surprise. Shona's actually going to sing as well. She's going to pop her head out and say hello, Shona. Oh, I'll come and say hello. Which Hi. Which I'm whiskey? a technical stage manager tonight, hoping that this all works. I'm presuming you can all hear us, okay? I'm sitting here reading comments and I will relay to Paul. Okay. So, so anyway. Cheers. Anyway, I hope you've got a dram or a glass of wine or claret or sherry or eggnog or whatever you like but um got a wee whiskey here oh that's it now we're ready to go gonna start with a march straspey and real um three of my favorite of these different types the first thing's a pipe march called mrs mcdonald de Denach, and then that's going to go into earl gray and we'll finish with the waverly ball right here we go
feel like there's actually an audience here, just but just bad habit. Um, hey, got I've got to say hello to what is it? Pamela, the mighty voice, the mighty lungs for Norfolk and Virginia. Hello, um, nice to get you listening in. And um, Morag for France. Hello, Morag. And finally, Dave and Donna, Thomas, for the King's Choir. Um, fantastic folk, lovely, lovely folk. And nice to see we've got an international audience. So, um, hello, folks. Um, I've just realised there's a real flaw in the plan here. I'm sweating like a dry horse. Um, sitting in front of the fire. <laughs> Should have done this in front of the kitchen, the kitchen table, I think. But anyway, um, as I said earlier, um, I should have been at the Neil Gow Festival which is a fantastic uh, festival organised by Burnham Arts, but um, in large part by the fiddler Pete Clark, who's a lovely lad. Um, very disappointing to hate the council, um, but understandable in the situation. So um, I should have been there playing. I could have been playing at this very moment. And um, I did a recital just at Kill Connections early in the year where I played the, the fiddles of the great composers and played their own music. So at the minute, I've still got Neil Gow's fiddle or one of his fiddles, Pete's got the other two at the minute, um, and I've got Nathaniel Gow's fiddle, and the rest of our going back to where they belong, so um, I don't think, Ken, if you can see it, there's a wee um, silver plaque, one of Neil Gow's fiddles, so um, I thought it'd be quite nice um, to play a set of Neil Gow tunes, so I think we'll, st we'll start with a lament for the death of his second wife, because it's one of the best kind to his tunes. <laughs> Of course, we need to tune up. Oh, a part of Gregor's watching. Hello, Gregor. Right, we'll start with Neil Gow's lament for the death of his second wife. Thank you. 
it's a very old fiddle and um, the pegs, and you really notice them when there's a change in temperature, if it gets cold or gets hot, that they slip quite easy, so it was kind of a bit of a bother to get, keep in tune, but um, that was Neil Gow, um, we played Neil Gow's Lament for the Death of His Second Wife, then Highland Whiskey, we either up a Highland Whiskey there, and then we went into Miss Drummond of Perth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up um, Nathaniel Gow's fiddle. Now Nathaniel was a he was a great composer in his own right. He was the fourth son of Neil Gow, and this particular fiddle was made in Aberdeen by a man called Joseph Ruddyman. And um, Neil Gow famously damaged his fiddle while taking a short cro a short cut across the dam in the Wyham Fair event. He slipped, broke his fiddle. And the fiddle was teen up to Aberdeen to get repaired. So um, while he was there, he spotted this fiddle, which is the Joseph Ruddyman, and he bought it for Nathaniel. And it's a lovely fiddle, so I'm going to play some Nathaniel Gow tunes. Right. Very quickly, I can hear they've all got different voices. Um, I'm going to start with Sally Hunter of Thurston and then go into um, Lady Charlotte Campbell and then we'll probably finish with the fairy dance. Again, these are our tunes by Nathaniel Gow. tunes. Um, right, a few folk to say hello to that are looking in. Uh, Kim LeClaire, one of the singers for the King's Choir in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, is it Emed Khaled from Tunisia? That's the most exotic place I've ever played to. 
Thanks, Imed. Um, Derry Farrell. Oh, cool, man. Be nice to see you. Um, saw Derry a few weeks ago in Dublin for Francie Devine's launch. Um, lovely guy, brilliant singer. Um, buy his album, that would be my advice. Um, followed by that, it's Matt Grayson Marion. That's my in laws. Like, lovely to see you. Um, and after that, a lot of folk want requests. Oh, sorry. Um, a lot of folk want requests, as Shona says. Um, but there's no time at the minute. But um, if we're, we'll maybe do this next week. I'm not gone anywhere. We're kind of shut in the house anyway. So um, so we, can, we certainly can take requests at another time. Um, but at the minute, I think it'd be quite nice if we had a couple of songs for Shona. If it's out here. Yes. <laughs> Great applause. Yes, they definitely want Shona. Shona, come and sing, sing my few songs. Okay. Hello. Can I can I pull this in a wee bit? Sorry, I'm going to be absolutely roasting in front of the fire. Yep. Cheers, Abdi. Um, Paul was saying that he was meant to be at the Neil Gow Festival in Dunkel the night. I was meant to be sitting at him with a beer in my pajamas. So the only difference for me is I'm fully dressed. Lovely to see you all. Um, I'll maybe get Paul to man the all the comments and things coming in. Um, Nish, this is really weird, Paul, isn't it? Just sing. I'll just sing. He's telling me just to sing. Oh, Nils. Um, oh, hi, Nils. Um, there's loads of folks saying hello. Um, we can't say hello to all of you personally, but thank you very, very much for um, for joining in tonight. Obviously, all the musician pals and hospitality pals that we have are all in the same boat just now with gigs and work being cancelled left, right and centre. So I should probably do a wee shout out. There is a wee tip jar if you fancy it. It's not compulsory, but you can go to paypal.me forward slash Paul Anderson Shona Dawn because my name didn't fit in the bit and I thought I better just put Paul's <laughs> name in. So it's Paul Anderson Shona Dawn and you can, you know, if you want to put something in the tip jar. Um, that would be fine. So I'm going to sing, um, I'm going to do a couple of songs. I'll start with a ballad, I think. Um, I'll do a northeast one. Uh, Edema Gordon. I'll sing him it up. Edema Gordon. So this is a ballad relating to the burning of Cargarf Castle, uh, which is not too far from us here in Tarland. Um, and it happened in the 16th century. Um, and you'll, oh, you'll get the gist of it. I'll just sing it. It fell a bit on Martimus time when winds blew shrill and cold. Said he to my garden to his men, we men that are to some hall. What ha, what ha shall we draw to, what ha, what ha quoth he. O I think we'll award it to his house and see his fair lady. And she thought it was her in dear lord that she saw riding him. But who is that traitor he to my garden that are like sin nor shame? Ge out your house, oh lady Campbelly cried, ge out your house to me. Or else I will burn you this very night, you and your bedness three. Oh, I went and he held my hush a cry till he had not yet to loon, nor he had to any rank or robber that comes by hawk and doon. So the lady forgave the bottle mince to a bullet she let flee, but they missed her mark with cordon for the barely graced his knee. And then up spoke her in dear son, sat on the nurse's knee. Oh, open the door and let me out for the rickets choking me. Oh, I would give my houses, my land, my cellar and my fee. For just to all the western winds, the blood that reek for thee. And then up spoke her daughter, dear, she was bit jump and sma. Oh, row me and a pair of sheets and throw me out the wall. So they rowed her in a pair of sheets and threw her out the wall. But on the point of oh, Edom's sword, she got a deadly fall, and he turned her out. 
and out again and our face was white. He said I might have spared your last to be some man's delight. And he turned her out and out again and our face was wan. He cried, you are the very first I wish to life again. And then he gathered up his men for fast out of the lee. O tow his horses and a blaze we need no longer stay. And then he saw Lord Towie himself come a riding out of the lee. And he saw his in castle in a blaze as far as he could see, and some they read, and some they ran, for fast out of the plain. But afore they got to Towie's house, they were a dead and slain. And then Towie walked around his castle walls, the ashes for the view. And he jumped into the beaded flames, and he burnt over all the Jews. Hey, hey, <laughs> fantastic! Oh, bless you, Paul. Sing us another one. Sing you another one. See, awesome. as much as we think things are bad just now, it could always be worse. We could be living in 16th century Scotland with... No whiskey. No whiskey. It could always be worse. Uh, I've got to say hello to a few folk. Oh my goodness. Hi. Moragan Flora. Oh, Jimmy Hutchison. Hello. Uh, Katrina Stevenson. Hello, Ted Cremar as well in Northumberland. Drew Aitken. Hi, Drew. Doreen Wood. Hello, Doreen and Melvin. And Sarah Walker over in Calerly. Hello, Sarah. Hope you're all Sarah, doing very well. Sorry. There's a lot. I can't, I can't read them all. I've not got my glasses. Okay, I'll be Oh, Paul's going to do it later. Um, so I'm going to sing one more song. Oh, Hector's just coming in the door. Do you want to come and say hello to everybody, Hector? Okay. They've been told, well worn, to keep quiet. And I think they're doing very well. What am I drinking, Harry? I am drinking beer. But it's non-alcoholic beer because I don't drink very much. Um, so... I'm going to do one more song and then Paul will do a few more tunes. Um, like Paul said, we're not doing requests tonight, but that might be something that we do in the future. I think we're probably going to do it next Friday night as well. Same time, same place. Don't think anybody's got anything else to do, so we may as well. Um, I'll do a chorus song. I have no idea if you're all going to join in or not, but please do uh, have a wee sing song at home. Hope you've got your drams and your wine and your non-alcoholic beers. Um, I'm going to do Green Grow the Laurel. <clears throat> I ain't had a sweet heart, but no I hain name. He's gone and he's left me to weep and mourn. He's gone and he's left me, but contented I'll be. For I'll get him the far, far better than he. Green grow the laurels, and so falls the dew. Sorry was I, love, when parting with you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and you'll change the green laurels for the violet so blue. He wrote me a letter with four rosy lines. I wrote him another, or twisted and twined. Keep your love letters, and I will keep mine, and here I take your sweet heart, and I'll write a mine. Green grow the laurels, and so falls the dew. Sorry was I, love, when parting with you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and you'll change the green laurels for the violet so blue. He walks by my window, be early and late. And the looks that he gives me, it marks my hair break. The looks that he gives me, a thousand times o'er. You are the lassie I once did adore. 
Getting cold, the Lord rose, and so falls the dew. So he was I love when parting with you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll put it through, and you'll change the green laurels for the violet so blue. I oft times do wonder why maids love young men. I oft times do wonder why young men love them. But by my experience, I know what I know that young men. Deceivers wherever they go, green go the laurels and so falls the dew. Sorry was I love when parting with you. Met at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true and you'll change the green laurels for the violet so blue. Green grow the laurels and so falls the dew. Sorry was I love when parting with you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true and you'll change the green laurels for the violet so blue. And uh, that's especially for my uncle Tommy and Auntie Sonia. Tommy, I hope you're singing along at home. Sonia said you would be. So uh, Paul's going to play a few more tunes. See you later. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to head back. Too close. That's better. So there's a few honourable mentions here. Um, far did we finish? Mm. Mark Anderson, eh, Murray Wood, Niall Reid. I went to school with Neil. Went a trip up to Orkney once upon a time. Katrina McLeod Stevenson, Ted Cremar. That's my dad's cousin. Ted used to be head of the um, Northumbrian Fire Service, actually, and he has been stuck in Tenerife for a while, but he got here and they let him out of the country, which is a good thing. Uh, Drew Aitken, Doreen Wood, hello Doreen, how are you doing? Lorelei M. Bach, we've got a ministerial lady listening in, she's a minister. Uh, Harry Lash, Sarah Walker, I've mentioned Sarah. Turn the page. Bilal Malik, Anne, Peggy Ramsey, Sarah Jane, Shona Robertson, Milo Thurber, Dominic Poulin, um, Karina Hewitt, hello Karina, nice to hear from you. My niece, Ailey. Uh, Philip Stockton from Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Gladys Katnach, Gilbert, Sue Taylor, uh, uh, Z, Z. Sean Jurani, Liz Reslin from Colorado, Dale Johnson, Ali Napier, luckily he's not here, I would have given my whiskey a real old hammering, and Dave Moyer. So let's play a few more tunes. I'm going to start with um, a couple of hornpipes. I, I, I can a few Irish tunes, but um, I think I play some money really um, for a out and about that tends to be the traditional Scottish. But I'm going to play um, certainly the first thing's Irish, it's called the Pride of Petravor, um, and that goes into a tune that is better known as the Belfast Hornpipe. Certainly that would suggest it was Irish, but it's got another name, um, which I think is probably the older name, called Millicent's Favourite, so it, it may be one of, one of these tunes that's hard to pin down its origins, it certainly could be English or Scottish, but it's best Kent as Belfast High Hornpipe. So here we go, a couple of hornpipes. <laughs>
stuff. Um, I think I'm going to play one more set now. I'm not even sure what time it is. Uh -huh. It's half past, so we said we'd do about half an hour. Um, if you have looked in, really nice um, to hear for you. Um, I really appreciate you've taken the time just to um, look in on your busy, busy schedule. <laughs> um, but yeah, if um, you look in next week, same time, we'll we'll, we'll try and touch some requests if we, if we can them because I can't yeah, play it if I didn't can, but. Yeah. Let us kind of in advance would be a good idea. We'll try and do our best. But um, thanks for listening. And um, I'm going to play one more set of tunes. I think for them I'm going to play, start with Slow Straspe. I love Slow Straspe's. Near enough Slow Straspe's performed in my estimation. But I like them full of character, real Scottish character. And this is one I really like. It's called um, The Marks of Huntley Snuff Mill by William Marshall. Lovely tune. And then we'll go into something a bit quick and snappy to finish up. So um, I'll trust Shona to be able to turn this off. Well, I'll come um, and say Oh, she'll come and say cheerio. So um, thanks, folks. And we will maybe see you next week. But obviously, we'll keep in touch online. Our day. We'll it's been, uh, we might do a bit longer, Shona says. Get the day for the boss says you can. So here we go. Um, starting with the Marks of Huntley's Snuff Mill. <laughs> Much, to folks. you and you and you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul okay. will maybe dress up as in a uh, leather uh, clothes next week. I will, or, 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 or something <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> There's a lot of people saying it, that they didn't know Paul was left-handed and plays the wrong way round. It's because the screen is inverted; it looks like he's playing the wrong way round. But Paul actually is left-handed. Oh, I get the feed in that, but it feels natural to me, to be honest, because. My um, if I, did, I, I was to play tennis or stuff like that, I would use my right hand, my clever hand, my articulate hand is my left hand with knots and things like that. So that's why it feels natural for me to play left-handed. Hello. <laughs> Boys are here to say cheerio as well. 
Okay. <laughs> Swiss Family Anderson. <laughs> over now. Here's Dougal here as well. Oh, let's see. Dougal the Muska Hound. Here he is, an old boy. Oh. <laughs> Not Rrr. happy. Sausages. Okay, so over and out from the Andersons, and we will see you next same week. time yep. next week, 8 o'clock. Cheerio.